I'm Robin Black, and in this episode, we dissect a 16-0, 25-year-old who may well be the best fighter on planet Earth. This is Fight Secrets. Welcome, friends. Fight Secrets on the road. I'm Robin Black coming at you from Cheyenne, Wyoming. This place is a beautiful part of the country. I'm thrilled to be here. And today we're looking at AJ McKee, young, hungry, super athletic, incredibly creative. This is a fantastic mixed martial artist. I was trying to find some deep, complex, self-indulgent way to combine Cheyenne and AJ McKee. And let me tell you, not too easy. Let's go with this. Cheyenne is a no bullshit town, and this is gonna be a no bullshit episode of Fight Secrets. Let's get right into it. Let's start with this 6-6 six, six submission by AJ McKee against Derek Campos in round two of the Bellator Featherweight World Grand Prix. He slides off and then whoop, locks up the neck with the triangle from the bizarre position. Arm extended, he gets it underneath his armpit and then he extends his hips. From here, he's trying to go to the neck, wrap the body and wrap the neck, but he slides off the top. As he does, he's got the arm and he's gonna improvise and he locks it right up. This is a triangle on a strange angle. All you need is the head in and one arm out. But he takes that arm, he starts extending it, then he's gonna jam it underneath his armpit. This hyper extends that entire arm and now he's gonna get the finish. And look, this is cool. You can see the shadow of the tap right from underneath, right here, right there. And AJ tells the ref he doesn't wanna do any more damage. But this is all the more impressive when you see how it happened. At the beginning of the fight, 30 seconds in, AJ's looking to set up a spinning hook kick. The step and the spin, it's early and he's hyper explosive and when he misses the target the leg will propel him his other leg comes out and look how he lands bink right there that part of the knee the lateral collateral ligament is damaged it is split it's actually severed and he still has to fight for a couple of rounds and he does he continues on what do you do here you feel that explosion inside the knee you wrap your man up in guard and you hope and you pray and you hope that you can get this thing finished but he has among the tools that he has at his disposal disposal is a secret weapon. This is his coach, Antonio, who's also his father. So we're not just saying, coach, what do I do? He, they have built a lifetime of love and respect and trust. So when his father, his coach says we can do it, we can do it. Now we start kicking with that leg, damaged as it is, and driving with the takedowns to try to finish those takedowns. And you continue to fight, and you continue to fight, and in fact, the uppercut underneath the elbow drops his man. And the fight continues, and he hangs on, and he deals with the adversity through that fight and with a damaged lateral collateral ligament that would put him out for months, he finds this triangle and he cuts off the blood flow to the brain while hyper extending the elbow. This kid is mentally tough. You see how spectacular that finish is, but when you see that he damaged his body in the first 30 seconds, it's all the more impressive. Who wants to see the fastest knockout in Bellator history? I do. Me too, please. One punch is thrown first. Right there, a little touch. And then repeated, big overhand right, and he drops his opponent. A couple more shots, ref takes a few seconds. They call it an eight second knockout, the fastest in Bellator history. When you look at how it unfolds and you imagine it slowed in time through the way AJ would experience it, he sees immediately that Georgie is in southpaw and he engages the rear hand. Now Georgie's playing defensively, very smart beginning to any fight to read and interpret and play defensively. But if he does it again on the second touch, now AJ knows exactly what's happening and he can see See the channel through which to strike. Bink. Stepping deep into range as he touches the hand and reads and interprets and predicts the response and then he punches up and over it. We talk often about creating a response or forcing somebody to do something, but it's not only that. You have to read what they're doing in the moment and inventory it and do this all in real time. And that's what AJ does. Gets the same response as he's stepping deep. Bink. Lands the right hand. And it all happens in milliseconds. That is the trained mind of the advanced level martial artist and it's a wonderful thing to see. He will have this spectacular highlight, this knockout for the rest of his life. AJ McKee with the fastest knockout in Bellator history. And man, it looks cool when you slow time and see it how AJ saw it. 
All right, before we go on and look at some more spectacular AJ McKee finishes, I wanna talk about his upcoming fight. Thursday, he's fighting Darian Caldwell in the next round of the Bellator Featherweight World Grand Prix. They're chasing a million dollars and the world title. Listen, Darian Caldwell has made a lifelong career out of physically dominating other men. You can call it wrestling or grappling, mixed martial arts, call it whatever you want. He physically manhandles you and he abuses you. And that's what he wants to do to AJ McKee. Now, AJ has one extra extra thing going for him in this situation, and we alluded to it earlier. Let's take a look. Before Darian Caldwell was doing this, Antonio McKee was doing it. Look, controlling the arms to elbow over the top, posting up on that wrist, and then attacking. Antonio essentially was in the early stages of developing these techniques in the game of mixed martial arts here, winding and striking, like a braid of flesh and bone, attacking himself and attaching himself to the body, and then firing from the top position. Antonio McKee was one of the pioneers of this style, so he can help get his son ready for this fight. The perfect training partner in the world if you're facing Darian Caldwell is Antonio McKee. Random tangent. Listen, my friends, it is a very, very stressful time in human history right now, and we're all feeling it. The only things we can really do that will make a small bit of help, a small bit of change, a small bit of assistance is eat a little better, sleep a little more, and get a little bit of exercise. Oh, and turn off the fucking news. And if you can, train martial arts. You can do it online. It changes your life. Small changes, tiny improvements, and they start to add up. That was a weird random tangent, but I feel good about it. All right, my friends, we continue to look at the genius of AJ McKee by welcoming you to America's new favorite game show, three breakdowns of three finishes in three minutes. All right, start the clock. Big. Look at that. Sweet, sweet head kick. But he's playing with the attention of the opponent, the focus of the opponent. The fake left hand is reaching out. Watch, Don's hands are gonna actually reach and try to parry. And in fact, he will get his hand back quick enough to block this, but bink. The foot is a curved weapon and it wraps around the defensive systems and the concussive forces still jar their way through. Spectacular. Let's take one more look at it. It's about focus, it's about attention, it's about engaging the mind of the opponent, getting him to believe one thing, big, and something else happens. Just a wonderful finish. You wanna see another one? We're doing three in three minutes. Look, big, uppercut, left hand looks, this looks like a punch, doesn't look like much, but we travel back in time. The left hand here, the hammer fist, that one's big. Look at the intense impact here. Look at the response, boof, lands, and he fires him back. Now they're both off balance. AJ is not afraid to take risks offensively, because here he's out of position, but watch how he auto-corrects himself here. He's self-aware of where he is in space. Now with a reset of his feet, he's going to attack again and again. It's not quite perfect, but by pushing offense, 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 he gets responses, and look at this. this is the way he's responsive in real time. Watch that elbow flaring out. That'll open his man up to allow him to strike up and underneath. And when he does, watch the left hip, not just the left knuckles, watch the left hip as he digs and drives and spink, smashes it, feeds it to him. How about one more? How about a submission? This is a beautiful, wonderful submission. It is an anaconda all rolled up, a balled up anaconda. The way he puts it together, he's got his man up against the fence and he's opening him up to punch down in between. This forces a response. His man will now attack the foot. Good choice. It forces AJ to have to retract. You're attracting this way. If you cannot retract, you'll move and create a little bit of opening. Now leaning open-handed against the fence. Take an athletic stance and watch this. The back step and he surfs his man all the way to the head. That is innovative athleticism in the moment. Now he wraps it up and he's going to put together the anaconda choke. Right arm underneath the neck feeding out underneath the man's right armpit and then wrapping it under your own arm and putting your hand across. Now we're cutting off the blood on one side and his own shoulder is cutting off the blood on the other. Now it's about the footwork. Watch this. He's going to roll his left hip under just enough so to make himself mobile. And now two steps. It's a step and a step. And then it is a launch, explosively rolling from here, forcing his man to move through space as he tightens that. And now a biological handle of the elbow. And now it's about retraction. And look at this small, subtle micro retraction as he closes in. Yes, sir. Three breakdowns of three finishes with three concepts in three fucking minutes. 
Man, I'm sad this one is over. But fortunately, AJ's fighting Darian Caldwell Thursday night. Now listen, it's easy to get all wrapped up in the genius of AJ McKee, but do not forget about how brilliant Darian Caldwell is. That's why they have to fight this Thursday at the Mohegan Sun on CBS Sports. I'm gonna sign off with regret that I have to leave right now from the Outlaw Saloon in Cheyenne, Wyoming. This has been Fight Secrets on the Road. It's been an incredible pleasure to look at AJ McKee with you. Please subscribe, follow, click, link, like, share, all that kind of stuff means a lot to us. It's a great pleasure to do these for you. Until next time, from Cheyenne, Wyoming, enjoy the hostilities, my friends.